Now, I showed you some snips from my ABC documentary, Your ABC Exposed, at the top of the program. Let me show you again, if you missed it, the ABC managing director, David Anderson, who had refused an interview, refused our request for an interview for weeks, along with everyone else at the ABC. Let me show you what he told me when we doorstopped him at a fancy ABC event. Why retreat from public debate about the ABC? Uh, I haven't retreated, Chris. I've given you this interview right now. So, and, uh, <laughs> okay, and you know I'm glad we came been, then, because I've been waiting, tried to organise it for weeks. And I have been waiting for you to invite me onto your program. Any time. Yeah. That's so, a standing invitation. All right. Well... Well, well actually, we've sent requests in in the past. Right. Well, we'll make that we've date soon. Under, OK, all right. Have, 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 good have a good day, Chris. Bye. See ya. Well, let me bring in media writer for the Australian, Sophie Ellsworth. Uh, Sophie, can you believe, after he said that to me um, last month, that now we request interviews, it's back to no, no interviews again. It's extraordinary. Well, Chris, I can believe it because you've obviously been roadblocked by ABC's Corporate Affairs Department, as have I. Uh, David Anderson obviously said to you he's willing to come on the program, but uh, the Corporate Affairs Department puts a stop to this, which I think is really disappointing, Chris, for Australians out there who want to hear from Mr Anderson and what he has to say, but he's obviously been silenced and he's not allowed on this program, it would appear. Yeah, I mean, we had a good chat so when we bumped into him there. I had a buttrose I've interviewed before. I mean, there's nothing wrong with sitting down and explaining yourself and answering some criticism uh, so that the people who pay for the ABC get to actually get involved in that debate. It, it is extraordinary. I want to show you on that theme a little bit of an interview with the current, the, the new communications minister, Michelle Rollins. She's now responsible for the ABC. And I asked her about what she plans to do to try and make sure there's no bias or eradicate bias if it's there because... Under law, the ABC is supposed to be objective and impartial. Have a look at some of what she had to say. I thought it was quite extraordinary. If people have particular grievances with that, they are welcome to make complaints. Um, they are also um, welcome uh, to uh, you know, switch channels um, as well. Um, so the fact that we have that opportunity for people to make complaints about the ABC and to decide that they will no longer consume the ABC um, is something that is always open to them. How about that, Sophie? If it's biased, just switch it off, but you still have to pay for it. Yeah, Chris, I'm not sure that that's really the answer. Um, as we know, the ABC is riddled with bias and this has been a long-running problem, which the coalition government, previous government, did nothing about, Chris. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how it's handled by the new government. But, look, you've done a great job on this documentary, uh, Chris. I, I was lucky enough to get a, a preview of it. Uh, but I must say, Chris, I loved that snippet of you when you were working at the 7.30 report back in the 80s with that yeah. mullet of yours. And I'm sure the viewers will look forward to tuning into that. <laughs> yes, there is, a, there is a cruel transition there, uh, showing me in a mullet in the 80s, back to uh, what I look like now. And um, uh, when, uh, when we were doing a preview screening today, the head of programming at Mark Calvert rather cruelly said, you haven't changed a bit, Chris. It's, my, my, my younger kids now will see me for, with hair for the first time. But just on that, that, that was a snippet for when I was at the ABC appearing on Q&A, uh, hosted on that night by Stan Grant. And he's been announced today as the permanent host of Q&A. Uh, this is an important job because it's kind of lost its way, hasn't it? It has, Chris. It's uh, in damage control yet again. It's had dire ratings. It had the exit, abrupt exit last year of Hamish McDonald, who shot through and went back to Channel 10. Then they rolled out this three a rotating host model with Virginia Trioli, David Spears and Stan Grant. And now they've effectively ditched Trioli and Spears and they're sticking with Grant. But I was looking at ABC's Facebook page today on Q&A and there seems to be a lot of people quite unhappy happy with this decision. So it will be, uh, I'll be curious to see, Chris, how the viewers react to Stan uh, taking over as the solo host, which is the first time it's had its solo host since Hamish left in May last year. I'm tempted to say Stan's a great host, but I, I only know that will draw him more fire from his critics if I endorse him. Uh, but uh, it should be a lot more diverse show than it is. It's one of the things we look at in the docker. Now, the other news is that we're going to see the Albanese government 
who, of course, have benefited from, I think, a lot of cheerleading at the ABC over the last few years, they're going to give the ABC exactly what it wants, really. That is more money, but over five years, guaranteed funding for five years to take it out of the election cycle. Well, this is an issue, Chris, because the ABC seem to have copious amounts of money and a lot of us are left wondering how it is spent. So I really hope that they look closely at how the ABC are spending this ginormous amount a wheelbarrow of cash that's dumped on their doorstep every year because I think there's a lot of wastage at the ABC and you and I and the viewers pay for it. So I think they can put out some really good content. But I think the chair, Ita Buttrose, and David Anderson and the board really need to look at how money is being spent because they're very quick to complain they don't have enough of it, Chris. Yeah. Now, Sophie, just on something else, uh, you had an exclusive today. This is a very important story and we can't let it slip from the public view. Uh, you revealed that uh, the Australian journalist uh, being held in jail in China, Cheng Lei, uh, she's faced an, facing another delay. She's already been in jail for two years, uh, uh, another delay in the process. So it just looks terrible here. Let's hope the government's doing all they can behind the scenes to put pressure on China. That's right, Chris. So I revealed today that the, the uh, sentencing and verdict due to be handed down is delayed for the second time this year. Incredibly upsetting, obviously, for Chang Lei, her partner, Nick Coyle, her parents and her two children, Chris, that live back here in Melbourne. So uh, hopefully this is resolved very soon. It's all been done in secret and we don't have a lot of detail of this case because it's all been behind closed doors so far. Yeah, well, uh, good on you for revealing that and keeping it in the public eye. Thanks for joining us again, Sophie.